from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Listen, fellas, I want more money. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-8-6-6. I am your professor. This is Dan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, uh, first of all, my hearty comments, man. You're, you're what the male community in this country needs. Um, and uh, I had a quick uh, revelation. Uh, I, I just found out... Uh, through a long period of dating, that the best way to use my time, I, I'm a, I'm a uh, SAP professional. Hey, 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 you can't say that word. Yeah. The S word, even with the word load attached to it. Not approved for broadcast by the Federal Communications Commission. By the way, I, I think that was incorrect use of the word because... Uh, the word, uh, the abbreviated form being S-load, uh, that is only used to measure the amount of production a radio employee has to do before he goes home. As in, I can't get out of here tonight, I've got an S-load of production. That's what you tell your girlfriend after you're about to bone caller number 23. <laughs> At least that's what I've said, not what you've said. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred times. You can't use S load on the air. You can't. You can't. And, and come on, you have to work at a radio station to use that word. It, it, it is a unit of measurement. Like when I was in England, I was at a radio station. I, I, they had a metric S load of production, which was a whole different measure. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Is our telephone number. Kevin, you're on Like Us 101 with your professor. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How you doing, Tom? Doing great. Tom, I don't know if you remember me, man. I called you about five months ago, and uh, I gave you my story, man. This girl played me. Uh, I wasted a lot of money on her. I never got no tail, you know? And you really went off on me, man. But uh, ever since that, uh, I've been listening to your show, Tom. I just want to say thanks a lot, man. I've been getting so much tail more than ever. Man, you are the man. Well, I'm so glad to hear that. I mean, I don't spend a cent, man. I Maybe a couple of bucks on alcohol and damn, man. The, the things you say is so much, so true. It's crazy. Well, Kevin, I'm so glad you're getting good results. I'm getting great results, and I want to thank you personally, Tom. I, I love you, man. <laughs> Kevin, I love you, too. Tom, can you take me out, Kobe style? Yes, yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. I'm your professor. Uh, by the way, we're, we're banging through calls. We're just burning through them as, as fast as you can possibly imagine. And uh, that means there's even space for you to get in if you dial right now. In fact, uh, you know, we have uh, every once in a while we have one of these anomalies where we lose like five calls at the same time. And so a bunch of lines open up, bam, all at the same time. Could be because people all heard the theme song at the same time or a commercial at the same time or whatever. And so every once in a while, like, you lose five of them at a time. So uh, if you've been trying to get in, this is your chance here one eight hundred five eight hundred 1-800-5800-TOM. In fact, I guarantee you, if you uh, dial now, you'll get in. But you have to dial before I finish this sentence. Your time is up. I warned you. one eight hundred five eight hundred 800 tom That's our telephone number. It's Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. Dave. What's up, puppy? Not much, Dave. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. It's our telephone number. Here is Dave. Another Dave on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Dave. But I just wanted to call because I think we have a lot in common. All right. 
I, my parents have been together since they were 16 years old, and they live down the street from me. And it is a funny thing because there is no way that a man's going to meet a woman like her this day and age, and there's no way that. Anyways, to make a long story short, I tried to get married, had the had the family. She left me for her ex boyfriend. Uh, I got joint custody of my son. And Why did you have a kid? I had a kid because a week before we got married, she said she got pregnant. Uh-huh. And so I said, wow, well, we were getting married. I can't believe this would be a trap. But I married a girl who had previous kids, and it was a nightmare. And I that's what they do. Kids. That's what they do. By the way, were you using a condom? No, never. Of course never. you were. Of course you were. And did she lie to you and tell you she was using birth control? Oh, yes, yes. She lied to you, and you believed it. Oh, I believed her like the day is long. Now, what do I always tell you about believing chicks when they talk about birth control? You know what? I I didn't listen. I met you after I got divorced. My buddy says, dude, you need a therapist. I go, really, who? And he wrote down on a napkin, uh, Dr. Tom Likas, 97.1. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, so this is this is where it gets funny. So I... So uh, she left me for her ex-boyfriend. I moved in with a friend. I got my life back together. Just so happened that year she left me was the year I made the least amount of money I'd ever made, and she just got a $50,000 a year raise working for her family. Of course she did. Okay. So when we went to the mediator, uh, he said that she could give me money, and I would be owed money. And me, the dumbass that I am, said, no, oh. no, I just want to walk. I took my toothbrush oh. and my clothes. I left You're my plasmas. Yeah, 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 listen to this. I left everything. So then, make another long story short, I rebound, meet another girl six months later, got engaged. Oh, my. Six months later. But check this out. This is the good news. My ex-wife, as soon as I, we had the baby, she said, I'm not having sex with you anymore until you get a vasectomy. I was thirty. I was thirty-one years old. I was thirty-one years old, and I said, "And you know what I did?" I go, "Okay, I got a vasectomy." I would have baby mamas from here down the nine oh nine in the Riverside. I'd be so broke living in a trailer eating a bean sandwich if it wasn't for her giving me the best advice of my life. Which was what? Get a vasectomy. Uh huh. So I got the vasectomy. I've been enjoying myself for six years. And dating Brazilians, dating Hispanics, having a wonderful time. I'm, I just fired up the barbecue and opened up a cold beer after a long day at work, and life is good. So I just want to say to all the men out there who really think that there's someone out there that's a perfect match for them, that's the biggest crock. The perfect match for any man is basically a good job, good education, good savings, and rotate them in and out the front and out the back door. Unbelievable. Dave, thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's your professor. It's Like Us 101 on the Tom Like Us show. This is Andy. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? I'm better now, thanks to you. Love it. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Uh-oh. I was a vagina. At one point, I did not follow any of your rules. I'm fresh out the uh, out the marriage, I guess you could say, and uh, I've never been happier. I'm three months out there, out the uh, out the uh, the marriage, and I'm, I'm slow back in in my game. But I just wanted to say thank you for giving me the cojones to uh, to DTB. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Yes. How did she react when you dumped her? Well, um, just a long story quick, um, she was a needy woman, just like the rest of them out there, who uh, wanted to take, 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 but not give, and I got tired of it. I got tired of it. Um, instead of going postal on her, I just said, you know what, I can't do this anymore, moved out. I lived with my mom for a bit and got my own studio that I'm, I'm struggling with a little bit, but you know what, it's my studio, it's my castle, and I love it. Good for you. Thank you so much, Father. Can you take me out African tribal style? I certainly can. Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likes Show.
It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. It's Likas 101. It's Matt. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How are you doing, Tom? Great. Good. So basically, this is the deal. I had a three-year relationship that broke up back in June. And right after that, you know, got out, started banging a bunch of broads. And there's this one girl that I've been talking to lately, and she's my age. I'm 25 years old. And we've been dating for like five, six months or something like that. To begin with, it was just, you know, a whole lot of fun. But now she's trying to get serious with me, telling me that she loves me. She wants me to be her partner, which I don't even know what that means. And, yes, you do. Uh, I don't yes, know. you do. Basically, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Well, I know what it means, but I don't want to know what it means. Well, then it's time to go. Yeah. The thing is, the sex is amazing. Yeah, but now now you're learning that uh, you can get a free sample of a free lunch, but there is no free lunch. I didn't want a girlfriend, and then I wasn't well, going to do it. So you got a big taste of that for free. Exactly. Here's an example. Let Have you ever done this? I know people who have. You dress nicely, and you go to a Lamborghini dealer. And you say, I want to drive your top-of-the-line model. Uh -huh. And the salesman, trying to find out if you're serious, says, are you looking to buy? And you say, well, depends on how I like the test drive. Mm -hmm. So the salesman uh, goes to the drawer, gets the keys to your dream car, gives them to you. He sits in the passenger seat. You sit in the main seat. You put your foot on the gas, and that thing zooms like a rocket ship. And there you are, zooming down uh, Sunset Boulevard, zooming down La Cienega. You get on the 10 freeway, and you really open it up until you get to the PCH, and then, bam, you're, like, heading northbound. You're there going through Pacific Palisades and Malibu, and bam, 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 nothing but road ahead of you. You point Magoo, fantastic. Look at this day. Look at the cliffs around me, fantastic. You turn around, you drive the car all the way back to the dealership. Uh -huh. You have had a fantastic day, the wind in your hair, and you have driven the best car there is. Uh -huh. So now you get back to the showroom, and the drive, the uh, the salesman says to you, what would it take to get you to buy this car today? Uh, your response is, let me get back to you on that. Yeah. Now, you see, you have just driven a Lamborghini. Okay. You enjoyed it. You drove it full throttle. Now the salesman wants you to buy it. You were just yeah. test driving. I was. You have no interest in buying it, Not but, but the test drive has just the test drive has just ended. Mm -hmm. It's ended now, so now you either have to buy it or you have to get out of the showroom. Well, is there a way that I could string her along? No. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. It's done. Yeah, fair enough. Now you have to listen to her nagging you every time, and then even if the sex is good. It's a downer because you have to listen to her nagging you in order to get some. It's true, and I'm dating like two other girls at the same time. You know, I'm a young, I'm a 25 year old professional out of college, great degree, great job, and uh, I'm just having fun, basically. Right. So move on to the next showroom. Fair enough. Hey Tom, can you take me out in the most tasteful way, tasteless way possible, Lacey Peterson style? Yes, yes, Matt, I can do that. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. This is Claire on the Tom Likas Show, Likas 101. I am your professor. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Good to speak with you. I've been listening to you for eight years. Love it. <laughs> Um, I was calling to tell you that a few years ago, I had to use your Hail Mary technique with a boyfriend. Myself. <laughs> so he was pregnant, and you had to tell him that uh, you needed to get an abortion? <laughs> no, I was uh, hanging out with some girlfriends, and we were using his computer, and we found out that he was charting my ovulation cycle. So I confronted him about it, and he admitted to me that he'd been tampering with our birth control and that he was trying to get me pregnant. And I had to tell him, I love you, I want to marry you someday and have children, but it's not right now, so I, you know, let's go get the morning after pill because we're not in a position to have kids right now, but someday, you know, we're going to get married together, and I talked him into it, we went, I took the morning after pill, I cried, I said, this is so hard for me, you know, I really 
would love to have a child with you. It's just not right now. And I took it, and I broke up with her. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> so sometimes girls have to do it, too. <laughs> I understand. And I absolutely was thinking about it. You, whenever I was doing it, I was like, I can't believe I'm a girl and I'm having to use <laughs> probably like his home marry technique right now. See that? This class benefits everybody. <laughs> exactly. And uh, I'm almost 30. I have no kids. I don't want to get married. I cook. I clean. I'm like the perfect girl. So I understand why he did it. But <laughs> Really? <laughs> it was, yeah. Oh, my so. goodness. If but all yeah, you like is cooking, cleaning, and having sex, let me know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I uh, it was it was pretty scary. It was crazy. But yeah, so. <laughs> well, Claire, thank you for telling us that story. It's Renzo on the Tom Likas show. Hello. It's so much. Hey, how's it man. How you hey, doing? Hey, how's it going, man? Great. Excellent. Well, my point, actually, what she said, it, it's almost uh, the perfect way, man. Listen, uh. If you want to get in a serious relationship, you know, some, there's some people, they go out, their boyfriend, they do that mistake of, um, you know, moving in together. And uh, the best way to control it, man, you have to give her the birth control pill. Uh, the best way if to control it, no, no. Condom, the best way, no, but the point is you have to wear a condom. Exactly. You but, have to. Yes, yes. You have to. Exactly. But I'm saying, like, in a long-term relationship... I don't care uh, if you're in a long-term relationship. You have to wear a condom. Okay. Um, but is, is it a bad idea, or is it... You say it's not It's not correct. It's not right, then. I'm just telling you that, uh, uh, you know, somebody could, who knows, put their thumb down their throat after you're done with them. You don't know what's happening. You have <laughs> to use a condom. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't think about it that way. You have to I'm, use uh, one. You have to. Become a bulimic from the pill. <laughs> you have to do it. By the way, by the way, another example. How do you know she's not on antibiotics? You know, many people don't know that taking certain antibiotics can make uh, birth control pills useless. Okay, good point of view. Yeah, I, do. I wasn't thinking about that. You just always a have to use off. a condom, period. There's okay. no way out. All right, or a Greek style. <laughs> Greek style. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Jennifer on Lycus one oh one with your professor. Hello. Hi, Papa Tom. How you doing, Jennifer? Good. I long time, first time. Yeah. Um, my ex boyfriend actually got me into listening to you. Okay. And worst mistake of his life because I started listening to you, I started actually listening to what you're saying. And I'm telling you, every girl out there needs to start. Well, not, I, only, not only men can learn from you. I have always said this. There are benefits to women tuning in. They have to, uh, you know, get rid of their preconceived notions about the program and understand what I talk about here. Is that I'm not teaching the guys what to do. They already know they want to get laid and have as little responsibility as possible. And it's like, I'm 24 years old. I listen to all my girlfriends going, oh, I'm never going to have a baby. I'm never going to get married. And I am 24 years old, and I'm having the best time of my life. Good for you. And I have to say, I love you so much for that. Really? <laughs> Every day on my drive home from work. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. Liz on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi, Liz. Hi, Tom. Uh, frequent listener, first-time caller. Thank you. I'm just calling to tell you that I listen to you um, occasionally, and I agree with a lot of things that you say about men and about women and how there is women out there, you know, that are just trying to get men um, screwed over and live a life where they don't have to work and collect child support for 18 years. That's what I've been saying. And I think it's wrong. I... I'm single, I'm 31 years old, I don't have kids, and I certainly do not want to have any kids. I mean, I work with kids, and I see it's very hard to have kids. You know, it's not an easy job where you can just come home and relax and not worry about your kids. Yeah. So I just want to tell you that you keep on telling those guys what you tell them, and you tell the girls what they don't want to hear, because that's what I think. I have friends that are like, oh, when are you going to have kids? Never. Never. You want to have fun. It's like, but then 
they tell me, oh, you're going on vacation again? Where are you going this year? You know? It's like, hey, I don't, I don't know. Have Here's kids. the one. Here's the, the one they say. They say, you're so lucky. Yes. That's exactly what they tell me. You're so lucky because you have this and you have that and you go on vacation and, and you buy whatever you want. It's like, yeah, that's why I buy whatever I want because I don't have three kids or, you know, to be spending my money on them. Yeah. So Good for you, Liz. So I just want to thank you, Tom. And can you take me out African tribal style with the bong hit? I certainly can. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show, Likas 101. I am your professor. Let's go to your calls here. 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being part of the program. Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you doing? Yes. Um, I was calling because uh, I've been the first time, long time, first of all. Yes. And, um, I've been seeing this girl for about two years now. She does have a kid. I know how. what you say about that. But um, her boy is two years old. He was um, just a few months when we first got together. And um, now all of a sudden she seems to want to be serious. And she kind of gave me a false alarm. That's what she called it. Well, that's breaking. what happens with single mothers. I don't know why you're doing this. I know. It was just kind of, you know, it was a good fact. Just, you shouldn't I, have done it. I know. Well, it's, I think she's just, um, just kind of like BS. On her side, I don't care what it is on her side. You shouldn't be dating a single mother, period. Why are you even calling here? No single mothers. No. No. Zero. Zero. Yeah. Are you new in this class? No, I've been listening. So you know this. You know this. Ah, uh, yeah, Tom. Don't play dumb. You're right. You're right. Uh, so I should just drop her, right? Right before we get to anything. Yes. Deeper. All right. All right, Father. We'll do that. Can you take me out with a bong rip? Yes, I can. Thank you, Tom. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Levy on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Levy. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing okay. Thank Tom, once again, it is an honor to talk to you. This is actually my second time calling, and I actually wanted to come in actually saying, Hi, is this Tom? But I didn't know how you'd react to it. I'd probably uh, act annoyed, yes. <laughs> anyway, um, I was just wondering, what is your opinion on shy women? On shy women? I don't yeah. know, what is your question about shy women? Well, you see, I work with this girl, uh, and uh, she's my... Uh, she's a really cool. Uh, she's really cool, but she's very shy. And I told her I liked her, but uh, I think she likes me. But I don't know what to do about that. You think she likes you? What do you want to do with it? I mean, a really shy girl is probably not going to want to have sex with you. You understand that? All right. It's going to be a lot of work. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be with somebody like that. Well, that's the thing. I'm actually. Uh... A very, I like actually a uh, challenge when it comes to dating. Yeah, but no, no, you don't like challenges. You want the shortest distance between two points. Are, uh, you, are you interested in falling in love or getting laid? Uh, actually, a little bit of both, actually. Well, you're too young to be falling in love with anybody. All right. Uh, do, you, do, you under, do you understand that? Yes, I did, sir. So uh, what was the problem here? Um, well, actually, I was just trying to get your opinion on 
what do you think I should do about it? Should I win? You should but, not be falling in love with anybody or having romantic relationships with anybody. You should be getting laid. All right, sir. I understand. I uh, thank, thank you very much. I was wondering if you could actually take me out with uh, Subway style with a bong rip. I can indeed. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Sean on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, I uh, just recently started listening to you uh, through my buddies. Uh, man, I should have started listening to you six or seven years ago. You're right. Yeah. Huh? That's what my accountant was telling me the other day. Man, I, uh, I'm 25 years old. Been married for almost six years. Have two kids, and I can't have fun. No. There now, you go. I'm not, I have a pretty good life. Make some good money. Live, you know, I do all right. Have a life. But God damn it, all my buddies are out having fun, drinking, smoking, and living a good and you And life. you were in a big rush to show everybody what a big boy you were. You were and so I'm mature. A, and I'm unbelievable. You were so mature... You know more than everybody. Exactly. I wanted to grow up too fast. Well, congratulations. You did it. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Mike of the Tom Likas Show, Likas 101. Hello. Yeah, how you doing, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing all right. You know? All right. Yeah, I got a crazy little situation. Uh, you know, I'm 29. I don't have no kids. Uh, I finish school. I make good money. You know, I I, I I get around with basically the girl, a lot of girls. You know, when it comes down to it, I know uh, I could get like any any shape, size, or whatever I want. You know, if I want a blue eye with red hair, I'll get one. You know, if right. I want a blonde with brown, I'll yes. get that too. Right. But I'm having this. I, there's this girl, you know, and she's a to me. She seems like a good girl, whatever. And whenever I call her, you know, she'll come around and everything, but uh, she's just real shy, you know? Like, she don't talk, or she doesn't do nothing, you know? But, like... Well, why don't you move on to the next? Yeah, no, I have. Why I, waste I, your I, time? I, it's not a... Really yes, it is. It's a waste because, of your time. Yes, it is. Well, you, with this girl, you know, she works for, She works with me, you know? So. I don't care. She's If you have to, to spend time trying to convince her to do anything, it's a waste of time. Yeah, all right. So, you know, I just want to verify and make sure... Move you on. Me. Move on. Oh, all right. No, it's 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 moved on, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, should I erase it off the list? Yes! Okay, so there it is. <laughs> all right. All right, Tom, good looking out. Uh, can you take me out with, with a tribal, African tribal, and a bong hit? Yes, yes, I can, Mike. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. Kodale nenge, asika mama. Oya kodale nenge, asika mama. No cough. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Sam on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how's it going? Doing okay. First time, uh, first time caller, long time listener. Long time listener, first time <laughs> caller. Been listening to you for the past two years. Man, practice everything you preach. Good. I've been with this chick for six months. You know what? She wanted to get serious. I'm like, no way. So I got out of there as soon as possible. And now I'm having great fun banging the best broads ever. <laughs> and all I just want to say is thank you, Tom. You're more than welcome, Sam. I'm very proud of you, for God's sake. Bob on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. This is Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Jeff. I really support your program. No, but, uh, my name is not here, Jeff. Right? That's, John, my name is not Jeff. That's your name. Oh, sorry. Sorry. 
I just want to share a story about an ex-girlfriend, Tom. I was dating this girl a couple years back, and uh, she tried to lie to me about birth control. Every time we had sex, she would complain. She said, you don't need to use a condom. I'm clean. I, I don't have any, uh, you know, diseases. So she took it real offensively. So the next time I met her, she was telling me that she had gone to the doctor and got a two-month pill birth control. And I said, wait, you know, what's that? I never heard of something like that. So I called her out on it. She wasn't able to give me a name, nothing. So I broke up with her that night. And turns out her girlfriend told me that she just wanted to get pregnant so that I would have to listen to what she told me. Can you believe that? Of course. You know? So I, I just have to stress to all the men and ladies. By the way, what are you doing having one smart. girl, one girlfriend? What What is that all about? What's that? Why, why are you dating, like, at any one time, one girl? Uh, no, nah, there were some other things going on, but... No, no, no. Was well, the I a answer the question I asked you. No, I was not dating just one girl. You were dating other chicks, too? Yes. And why would you have to worry about whether she's on the pill if you were wearing a condom? I didn't have to. It's the fact that she lied to me. You have to wear a condom every time. Which I did. Okay. That's the problem she was having. And she lied to you. Yeah. So I just want to share that. Nope. That you have to be smart when you're having sex. Always wrap up. But know what the girl's doing. I think those are words to live by. Tom Likis. 1-800-5800-TOM. Likis. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likis Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Here we are, coming to you from Hollywood. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. I am your professor of Like Us One Hundred and One. Every Thursday from five until seven p.m. Pacific time. That's what we do it. Stephen on the Tom Like Us Show. Hello. First time caller. Long time listener, Tom. Long time listener, first time caller. Yep. And I listen to you a lot of the times, and I agree with you most of the times. Although I have a little issue about you being an atheist, but that's, a, that's an entirely different debate. But, um, you know, I think at one point in your life, it's okay to settle down with a woman and have kids. Because if we were to employ your concept, that would just stop. I mean, a humankind. It would, it would, but everyone is not going to employ my concept. The stupid and uh, the poor will continue uh, to crank out children, large numbers of them, and that will keep society going. Yeah, but what, okay, yeah, okay. But what I'm trying to say is this: there sure you surely can't be saying that there's no way there could be a happy, successful. Marriage. I didn't say there's no way, but I say I do say. That because the divorce laws are stacked against men, because the child support laws are pr practically unconstitutional, but nobody will declare them so, that uh, it's not worth a risk of a man doing that. Okay. okay. It's not worth it in this country. I have no I have no issue with that. I have no problem with that at all. Well, we, my, I mean, my, we, this is where we live. Yeah. This is where we, this is the soup we're sitting in. And so we have to live in the soup we're sitting in. We have to respond accordingly. Yeah. I totally agree with that. As long as I mean, if, it's that, if that's what you're saying, I'm, I'm all I'm all ears for that. Okay, it's just a simple fact that I think that um, you should have your fun, have a, have all the fun you can have while you're young, and then um, when the time comes and you feel you're ready and you want to settle down with somebody and you um, you feel that's the right person, I mean, I mean, yeah, go go ahead. You don't need to settle down with anybody. I, I'm as settled down as anybody can be. I have a beautiful house. I have a second beautiful house. Um, I've had the same job for years. I've lived in the same city for 21 years. Yes. Yeah. That I mean, I am, I am completely that, that settled works. out. I do that not works. need to, I do not need a woman to settle me down. Well, that, yeah, that, that all might work for you. Okay. But, that, but, but for the next man, that might not be the case. That person might be the Well, I feel sorry for anybody who needs to be settled down by a woman that they can't settle down on their own. 
Well, you could you could find happiness in a, in a, in a relationship. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I have no problem, you know, being a player, you know, having your fun, having all these girls inside. But at some point in your life, at some point, surely you don't have you don't disagree with the fact that um, it's okay to you know settle down and and, and, and you know the court, let's court, let's get, yeah, let's, then pay, the and then ultimately pay child support and alimony and uh, be paying forever and ever and to have to well, fight is, to see is, your this own is, children. This is a, this is a product of your your seed. I mean, you, this is your seed we're talking about here. I mean, you want to see your seed to grow. I mean, you ain't, this is, you, you have an invested interest in this. Yeah, there's not that's, even a guarantee. Your, there's not even a guarantee you're going to get that. A woman can now uh, have a kid with you, take him to another state, take him to another country, and no, there's not a thing no, you no, can no, do no, about you know, it. You, you there's not a thing right. you yeah, can so. do about How about the guy I just read the story the other day? He married a woman from Brazil in the United States. They had a kid, and she took the kid to Brazil. She left for Brazil, and he went to court for years and years trying to get the kid back. You know how he got the kid back? This woman went, got remarried in Brazil, had a kid, and when she was having the second kid, she died during childbirth. And only then was he able to get his own child back from Brazil. I just saw the story the other day. I understand all that. I mean, That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. You have no that's rights that's as a man. You're crazy to do that. Yeah, I mean, there's horror stories in all, in all cases here. You no, know but there's mean? one after another. There's not just an occasional horror story. There's just too damn many of them. For God's sake, it's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Michael on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, uh, Tom. Michael. How are you going? Great. All right, I'm just calling to get your opinion. Um, I live with my girlfriend. We got two kids. Everything's fine in our relationship. But you know, I got a good job. I get make good money. Uh, she does too. And I'm just thinking that should I just, you know, just leave and just go out and hang out? Why are you having me? children? I can you explain that to me, please? It's just a situation that No, you have. no, no. I don't accept that. If you want to help from me, you first must take responsibility. Why are you having children? I just want I just wanted them. Why? Just something to have in life, I guess. Something to have in life. Why yeah. did you have to have them now? I don't know. Not a good enough answer. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Bill on the Tom Like his show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. Yeah, first time caller. Love the show. Look, man, I've been sitting back for the last two hours listening to the ship of fools. You got guys call, asking ridiculous questions. Fellas, look, stop messing with women. They're going to make you call Tom Likas asking these dumb questions. Tom, I'm 45 years old. I was temporarily insane over 20 years ago, and I got married. Had a kid. When the kid went off to college, I looked at my wife and said, wow, this isn't going to work, and I walked. So, fellas, it's not over. I'm happy as all get out right now. I'm happy as hell. So you got to decide, are you going to live life? Life is short. You're going to live it under her terms or your terms. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate the call, Bill. 1-800-5800-TOM. Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, Chris. How you doing? I'm 17 years old, Tom. I got caught up in a really bad relationship. Bitch down my heart, man. But it's good to know, dude. I'm, I'm 17, I got a good head on my shoulders, I'm off to college, man, all because I don't have a girl in my life, Tom. I recently, since I was 12, I fell back once, I got back on it. Life is good, Tom, all because of you. Glad to hear that, Chris. Thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Kat on the Tom Likas Show. It's Likas 101. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. This is Kat, and I have a little situation with my boyfriend, and I wanted to get your input on that. All right. What's happening is that I grew up with only guys, and all my friends are guys. So he gets a little irritated with that fact. Well, I would be no. I would be very irritated with that, and uh, I will tell you that uh, for me, a woman with guy friends is definitely doable. Someone I'd have sex with, but not somebody I'd have a relationship with. Well, that's when the problem comes in, because I am actually best friends with most of my ex boyfriends, well, and that, I know well, again the, that's fine with me, but I I would not. Uh, have a serious relationship with somebody who's best friends with all of her exes. But why? I mean, some of the girls that we I know... I, I look, I'll date you, I'll have sex with you, I just... I just I do you mind? I just don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who uh, uh, most of her friends are guys and all her ex-boyfriends and husbands or whatever. Uh, all, we're all best friends. You can be that way if you want to. I just won't get into a serious relationship with somebody like that. 
Now, so do you think I should change to be with him? I, or? I, I put it this way. There's not a lot of guys who want to be in a relationship with somebody like that. Really? Really? Hmm, that's kind of interesting. But those are all my friends from, like, since I grew up with. Well, I but, mean, well, I've again, never, okay, I, I do well, whatever I you want, that. but he's he will not be there. But why wouldn't you guys like actually? We get have no interest with my friends because we don't want to be friends with all the guys who want to have sex with you, and that's what these guys are. Oh my God. But not most of the, not everyone wants to well, have I'm sex. Well, I'm sure the gay ones don't, but everyone else does, and that's why they're there. I see. All right. I don't want to be friends. There's nothing I hate more. Really? When, when, no, no. When a woman says to me, let me tell you what women have said to me. All right. They talk to me about their ex-boyfriend. They say, you two would get along great. <laughs> you have so much in common. Forget it. No, see, that's, that's It's creepy. Me. That's creepy. No, I, I understand. I have no I'm interest in knowing that. your ex-boyfriend. I have no interest in, in being friends with all the guys who want to bone you. Well, but okay, let's get out the ex-boyfriends and friends I have, like, something with. But the rest of my friends, people I know since I was in kindergarten... You know? Even they want to bone you. All right. All right, if you put it that way. So That's I what they want. Change. I should change to be with him? Not do whatever you want. I'm just telling you, he won't be there. All right. He he All is right. he is already preparing to get out. Well, uh, we've been together for three years, and it's working. I well, mean, no, no, it's working just, for you, because you're just the latest <laughs> guy who'll be his best friend after you break up with him. No. <laughs> he, he's actually... The I have an ex. I talked to an ex the other day. I wasn't planning to, but I did. I heard from an ex the other day. <laughs> and she said to me, you never call. We should get together. Why? <laughs> what for? Well, I guess you're right on that one. But What's the what point? About, what about if a girl comes to you and what? tells so, you... What? So me, me, your pal, can talk about all the people you're boning and going on vacation with? I, I couldn't care less. <laughs> but what about if a girl wants to be with you and then suddenly says, I don't want any of your friends with you? What when, I'm, you do? when I'm done with you, I'm done with you. I don't press the rewind button. Our email address is tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.